Welcome to another update from a Force 13. Bureau of Meteorology has upgraded the uh, tropical low to Cyclone Wallace and lies to the north of the Kimberley Coast. A slight risk of a period of gales along the northwest Kimberley Coast during Saturday. The warning zone is Canterbury to Beagle Bay and not including a Derby. There are no watches or cancelled zones. The Category 1 cyclone sustained winds in the centre of 75 km per hour with wind gusts to 100 km an hour. Located within 55 km of 11 decimal 7 degrees south, 125 decimal 7 degrees east. This is estimated to be around 305 km north northwest of Canterbury and 440 km north northeast of Cooey Bay. Tropical Cyclone Wallace is currently tracking west at 9 km an hour and reach cyclone intensity earlier this morning, this Saturday, and north of the Kimberley Coast. The system will track towards the west southwest and is likely to intensify further over the weekend, while the most likely track keeps the system well off the WA Coast. There remains a slight risk that the cyclone could approach the West Pilbara case towards the middle of next week. Gales will go to 100 km an hour may develop in exposed coastal parts between Canterbury, Cockatoo Island during Saturday. If the system tracks further south than expected, gales may then ex then to expose coastal parts from Cockatoo Island to northern parts of the Dampier uh, Peninsula on Saturday evening and tides may be higher than expected between Canterbury and Cockatoo Island on Saturday and the, the State Government Department has activated their warning system and it's currently on blue alert for people in or near Canterbury to Beagle Bay, not including the Derby. Now we have a look at various uh, tracks and models. Joy Typhoon Warning Centre has it located near 11 decimal 8 degrees south, 126 decimal 5 degrees east. Maximum sustained winds 35 knots, gusting 45 knots, and about 261 nautical miles west of. Darwin tracking westward at 10 knots over the last six hours. Animated enhanced infrared satellite imagery and a 37 gigahertz microwave image reveals spiral banding wrapping into a low level circulation center that is being obscured by a central dense overcast CDA. There is fair confidence in the initial position and the initial intensity of 35 knots is consistent with PGTW APRF for our current intensities estimate or estimates at T 2.5-35 knots. Now here's the centre's latest track on the cyclone and the environment other than the sea surface temperature is hostile vertical wind shear is really impacting the system and we have a look at the upper level divergence it's very healthy it's up around 50 knots 
where Wallace is located. Also keeping an eye on a weekly pressure system uh, to which the Bureau of Meteorology here in Queensland has issued an initial flood watch for the Cape York Peninsula. Here's the latest wind shear and the wind shear is extremely high. It's up around 40-50 knots and the 24 hour shear tendency there's hardly any blue for the system the 850 minute bar vorticity and are we going to see another area of interest forming in the northern gulf of carpentaria region the tropical cyclone formation probability guide and this uh, particular graphic has uh, increased when you look at the area in a blue in addition to the Westpac. Bureau of Meteorology Western Australia has a gale warning for the North Kimberley coast. Strong wind warning for the West Kimberley, Nigaloo, Gascorn, Geraldton coast. That's for today. GFS model Force 13's AU channel along with this channel will continue to bring the latest information on tropical cyclone Wallace and is likely to become a, a category 3 system uh, sometime next week the HWRF parent model and finally in this uh, update the GFS precipitation model and this is extracted from the Pivotal Weather website. The precipitation scale is at the bottom of the screen and it's the area in yellow through to dark brown. And tropical cyclone and uh, what is this around 993 winds 40 knots you can follow force 13's outlets the website force13.com with the latest you can also find our youtube page you're probably there already but if not subscribe if you haven't so far you can also find our facebook page force 13 all in text and it's at force 13 on twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us on there you can also help the project become even better by enjoying the benefits of patronage. You can find out more information about how to become a patron and what those benefits are at patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also add force 13 on Skype and fool 13 at extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat. <laughs>